what is up everyone it is rachel today is a very exciting video because it is moving day i am moving from maryland down to north carolina to start law school law school orientation starts in two days and then the first day of school is the week after that so a quick turnaround time considering we just came back from australia like four days ago had to pack everything my car is pretty packed up Colton got a van and that is also pretty packed up my first time moving into my own apartment after being a resident assistant throughout college so a lot of change a lot of excitement but also sad leaving my hometown again but instead of undergrad this time to go to law school bye Gigi oh you're so happy look at that snoot so excited bye bye papa see you later oh bye 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 bye, you're so pretty, look at you, bye bye. I'm being blocked, Gigi, I'm trying to put Speedy. Bye Speedy Bee. Yeah, you want more pets? Licking me? <laughs> bye bye. <coughs> Meow. Oh, Gigi is running down the stairs. Bye bye, kittykins. <laughs> They're both here. I will take these two cats with me. We made it into the empty apartment here. Woohoo! We have now moved everything from the van and the car. <laughs> it's all jam-packed in here now. Last thing we need to do is move the couch. We're gonna put the couch from the van into this space. It basically just perfectly fits there. Here is the large couch that we have to try to move. So this is gonna be the struggle of how to get this couch into an apartment building with two people only. This is what I'm working with here. I got about uh, four feet worth of uh, dolly with seven feet of couch. All right, we're off to a good start. The strap is actually making all the way That's crazy, wow. That's not terrible. One man moving a couch. Fit the couch into the elevator. I don't think the camera literally does justice to how big this thing is. Yeah, it's way taller than Colton, only a tad shorter than the elevator. Yeah, this is like a service elevator. I would, I would guess it's not like a full cargo one, but it definitely is larger than normal. Yeah, it's taller than a regular people elevator. Rolling the couch down the hallway. It's literally the height of the hallway. Hey, there's a GoPro behind me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here is our entire living room, full of stuff at the moment. Now we have to organize it all. Whee! Here we have our mattress that we are going to be sleeping on the floor in, in the bedroom here. No bed frame yet or any bedroom furniture, but at least we got the mattress. It is from Costco. They were having a sale, $100 off. My mom has never seen one of these before, so after she saw this one, she started watching a bunch of box mattress videos on YouTube of like how a box like this can just expand into a huge mattress. So we're gonna show you all. Here's the mattress in the box literally rolled up so compressed it is like hard not squishy like this i feel like it's gonna explode that's a little bit scary
Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna explode. It's like a marshmallow. It's rising so fast. Just letting the air in. Oh my god. It's crazy. I didn't think it would rise that fast. Wow. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today is day two of setting up and moving in the apartment. Today, we are building some furniture. First up, we've got the chair for the desk here. Then second up, we got this desk. So two big things we are assembling. All right, step one, let's the instructions. We're gonna need this. We're gonna start with this guy. It's an arm, that means there's gonna be another one. Colton's made me a chair without the instructions. If it breaks, he's got the first sit. If the back like flies off, it's straight out of a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> that scared uh, me. Excited. It's comfy, right? From Costco. Yeah. Here is the final desk and chair setup. This is a beautiful desk here. Got that L shape, long desk. Put your laptop, your monitor, my Legos I'm gonna build. This desk also goes up into, now it is a standing desk. Okay, so we are back with the moving. I went to Target last night for a plunger originally for the toilet. Moving into an apartment is so expensive. There's just so many little things that you don't think about you need and then when you have to go to buy them they just all add up <laughs> so it's very expensive i'm losing money first thing i got at target was this pizza pan because i got some pizzas so this is good so i can actually cook the pizza and eat the pizza next up i got this set of two baking sheets Maybe I can make cookies, but I was thinking more so for cooking my bacon on here, but cookies sounds nice too. Then I got a toothbrush holder, very useful, very needed. See, like little things you don't think about, but then they all add up. Got this master lock so I can put it on my locker at the law school to keep my belongings. A measuring cup, similar thing. You didn't know you needed it until you do and then you have to buy one. Then I got two mugs because they were only $5. This one with my initial on it and then this one with these cute strawberries on it because I only brought one mug from home. So now I have three and I can make hot chocolate and not have to wash the same cup to reuse it every single time. This vlog is more shopping, except this time went to TJ Maxx. The good thing about North Carolina is that they do give you bags. And tomorrow, probably more shopping because I want to go back to Target. But it is necessities before I can continue to unpack, which will be the rest of this video since been here about a week now and still not unpacked. From TJ Maxx, I got this step stool. The counters here, there are a lot of like high up counters because I can't reach the other one. So I got a stool so I can reach the others and actually make use of the space. Then I got a little tiny bath mat for or when you step out of the shower so you're not getting the hardwood floor all wet over by the shower. And then I got this little organizer thinking of using it for my makeup in the bathroom. Here is what the basic sink setup looks like after getting this mini shelf from TJ Maxx. Stuck the products up there and then some stuff in here and then set it all on the sink area. I think it looks pretty good. Back home now, went to the thrift store, Target, and ended up getting groceries, so spent too much money. <laughs> As you'll see in the next video with how much textbooks cost, I think my mattress will have to stay on the floor. Cannot afford a bed frame or nightstands. But at the thrift store, I found a great find for only $3, this UNC long sleeve t-shirt. I was like, okay, this is a great find because at the student store, something like this 
probably at least $30, maybe even like $45, $50. So for $3, I got this. Then for more apartment things, got more hangers and then got two of these storage bins for organization. Got this lamp because in the living room area here, there is no light that comes from the ceiling. You can probably install one yourself, but it is sort of dark in there at night. So I got a lamp and some light bulbs. Hopefully it's the right kind. Then I got an over the door mirror. So yeah, let's set some of this stuff up and complete this moving video. You'll probably see more moving stuff in the next few videos as this is an ongoing process. I hung the mirror onto the door. Looks pretty good. Sort of messy in the background right now, but yeah, then you can see your full outfit. A good thing about this apartment is literally the amount of closet space you have. It is an entire walk-in closet. So now the goal is to unpack all of my suitcases, hang the clothes, put it in my large closet. finished closet as of right now this I want to get more hangers for because they're like skirts and stuff I would say there definitely is a lot of space however like all of this stuff athletic stuff leggings I think I would want to put in like a dresser most of these are like small shirts crop tops maybe I'd put like a dresser in here or in the bedroom because I really generally wouldn't hang those kinds of items similar like t-shirts here I just put them into a dresser so that is what it looks like right now item for the future would be dresser along with nightstands and bed frame and then if I do get a dresser all of these will be empty so yeah, that is the end of this video. If you have any questions or other videos that you want to see me do, leave a comment down below. Get ready, very exciting, because my next few videos will be law school related, law school orientation, first week of law school. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all next time.